horse can do if he says the horse can do can do can do you know, there's a, can do you know, super I can't hello again everybody uh, if that song doesn't get the blood pump and i don't care what racetrack you're at why you sincerely must not understand or enjoy thoroughbred horse racing as yours truly we greet you from video control down on the main line which is located adjacent to the paddock area and if you're a first time visitor and you've joined us on Super Saturday, you're in for a real treat. As Diamond Joe and Dazzling Falls, father, son, Chuck Turco trained them both. Dazzling Falls took you to the mountaintop, but Diamond Joe has got a special place in your heart. Chuck, welcome back. Diamond Joe's here for a special ceremony later on. You're going to be a part of that as well. And this should be a great day at the races, shouldn't it? Oh, yeah. No racing to Nebraska's premier race, the 24th edition of the Bosselman. And between horses, a little bit of a tardy start, but Joy Boy, as expected, is sent right to the front and gets about a length and a quarter advantage over Diamond Joe away in second. Down inside, third to the first of three turns now. That'll be Corporate Chappelle. Breaking fourth, about three and a half lengths off the pace. Wild Jacob. The other half of the Stanley Mankin entry, then comes Kate's main man, fifth. Tardy off the start. That's Ransom Roberto, and they can see them all at the back of the pack. That's Box Home Brew. And Joy Boy under the hands of Marcelino Pedrosa by a full measured length as they cross into the wire first time. Diamond Joe right there putting pressure from the outside. And on the inside, that's Corporate Chapel third. A break of a length and a half as Kate's main man weasels his way up between horses. Co fourth right now with unsaddled glory to his outside. That's Wild Jacob. Break of a length and a half farther back to Ransom Roberto. And still last, that is Box Home Brew. They're midway down the fodder back. Backside and Joy Boy feeling pressure right now from Diamond Joe. The two running as one into the far turn. Diamond Joe on the outside and Joy Boy noses apart. They're two furlongs from home. Racing third, angling out wide now. That's Corporate Chappelle. Then between horses fourth comes Kate's main man and here they come into the stretch. It's Joy Boy down on the rail. He's been gobbled up by Diamond Joe. The Nebraska bred sets sail for home. Diamond Joe has put away the speed horse from California. Here comes a late run from Kate's main man and also Corporate Chappelle. But Diamond Joe does it. Nebraska bred wins the Bussman first time ever in the history of this race. Go. Give a good old-fashioned welcome to the Nebraska bred Diamond Joe, a four-year-old chestnut gelding who moves into the Fonner Park winner's circle, now declared the official winner of the 24th version of the Bossom and Gus Fonner Stakes. Diamond Joe is a four-year-old chestnut gelding by Dazzling Falls out of the Mare Diamond Road. Bed in Nebraska by E.J. Miller and Roger Pelster. Now owned by Joe Kozel and Edward Joseph Miller, Jr. Diamond Joe, ridden by Jake Elysiak today, trained by Chuck Turco. Covered the mile in 16 distance in one minute, 46 and one fifth seconds. So that closes out year 67. The pandemic shutdown season has come to an end. And for all my fellow comrades who work the weekday shift, we say thanks for tuning in. May the horse be with you and happy trails. Stay safe, be strong. And keep us in mind, pay us a visit if you like what you saw. The little racetrack that could from Grand Island, Nebraska, home of Fonner Park. So long, everybody.